even more with these guys so uh let's give them a, a big with a welcome this is jerry steinberg and his dixie bluegrass boys
do it. Let me hear you one time good and loud. Are y'all out there live? Woo! Mercy. We've got a good crowd. I'd like to hear that. I played for so many of them dead crowds, I thought I was dead myself one time. And I tell you, it ain't funny. <laughs> I tell you, I'm glad, we're just glad y'all came out on this cold evening. I know we run into a little bit of snow. We got here, out here in the park a lot. Yeah, we run into it or did it run into us? I don't really know. No, it didn't hurt. It was real soft, fluffy, like a marshmallow. Yeah, it was, it was a little fluffy, real white like a feather. <laughs> well, we're glad y'all come out to see us tonight, see the other group here. We're just glad y'all come out to support us. We'll introduce everybody as we go along with the show here tonight. I think we'll go ahead and introduce this mountain picker to you. He drove all the way from race car country down in Kannapolis, North Carolina, with the legendary Dale Earnhardt for them, down in that part of the country. He, now he might drive like Dale, I don't know, I've never rode with him. <laughs> he might. I wonder if he made that pass through the grass like Dale used to do. <laughs> but anyway, he's a mighty fine musician. He's played for many, many artists through down the years. He's one of a good friend of ours. We enjoy picking with him. You give him a warm round of welcome. Dewey Farmer on the map. I tell you, he's got a good one picked out. I tell you, this here, you've got to be much of a man to play this number right here. This is one that Bill Monroe recorded many years ago. Everybody really seems to enjoy it. And Dewey Farmer does such a fine job with it. One title to get up John.
Mighty fine right there. Mighty fine. I tell you what, we'll go ahead and introduce this fiddle player. He ain't no stranger to bluegrass music. Not at all. He works with a mighty fine group out of the state of Virginia, Big Country Bluegrass. I'm sure some of y'all have seen that mighty fine band out through the festival circuit and many other places. He makes his home down towards Bristol. Down there on, is it the Tennessee or Virginia side? Uh, on the Tennessee side. On the Tennessee side, over there on the uh, Tennessee. Anyway. <laughs> right at the moment. <laughs> he's a mighty fine fiddle player. I tell you, he's a mighty smooth fiddle player. He's just good all the way around. You make welcome here on the fiddle, Tim Laughlin on the fiddle. Hey, he got a mighty fine one picked out for all you good folks. And I believe everybody can use a little bit of this stuff right here. It's called the Gold Rush. This was in Kansas. Here. That, yeah, I, bought, I borrowed it from Festus out there at Dodge City, Kansas. <laughs> but anyway, he's a mighty fine banjo picker, musician all the way around. He can pick anything with strings except the fiddle. He ain't no fiddle player. I'm just going to tell you right now. The way you don't have to ask him. Because he ain't. He's, just, he's the worst fiddle player in the state of North Carolina. He's the worst one. You know, you know how it is when you turn the lights on cockroaches. Hey. They scatter. Hey. Uh, I've never seen a cockroach as big as him. <laughs> but anyway, he eats like one anyway. <laughs> Nibbling on something. You'll hear something in the middle of the night. A whole paper bag. It's either a cockroach or a rat in there, or it's even my brother. More likely it's my brother. But anyway, 
he's a, I love him to death. He's a good tenor singer. He sings all the tenor with me. And he's a mighty fine banjo picker. He's going to come around singing an old number that the Father Bluegrass himself done. One time close by. You make welcome Jake Burrs on the five string banjo. Mine are to be, I like mine better. <laughs>